Hi, this is Matthias again, and in this video, I'm going to show you how easy and convenient it is to work with content libraries. Most drawings, just like this differential, are full of standard parts. Now imagine you had to draw them all by yourself. But with AutoCAD Mechanical, you don't have to worry about that. In the content libraries, you can choose from several thousand pre-drawn standard parts and features. Now let's see how to work with them. First, I want to insert a roller bearing here. Libraries for frequently used standard parts, like roller bearings, have shortcut buttons. You can search for your part, browse through the folders, or navigate by clicking on the images, just as you like it best. I pick this needle roller bearing and select the front view. By the way, can you see the little green cross in the image? This point will be congruent with the insertion point. You'll find a cross like that for all parts in the content libraries. I go on and pick the insertion point on the shaft contour, followed by the center line of the shaft. Then I use the dimension of the shaft to specify the inner diameter, the outer diameter, and the width. One final click to place it. And we are done. Now whenever you want to insert a part, the sequence of prompts and dialog boxes will always be very similar to the one you've just seen. If you want to make any changes to the bearing, simply double click it and the dialog box pops up again. AutoCAD Mechanical always checks first if the requested part actually exists as a standard part. Let me give you an example. When I only change the auto diameter to 20 millimeters, AutoCAD Mechanical lets me know that there is no such standard bearing. As a last step, I copy the bearing and paste it onto the other shaft. I use the AM Power Copy command, and not the standard copy paste command, as it also copies the part reference. This behavior comes in really handy when you want to create a parts list later. Apart from various individual standard parts, you can also insert entire screw assemblies by using just one single command. Let's see how that works. This is where I want to insert the screw connection. I start the screw connection wizard from the ribbon. It lets me select all the parts I need for the screw connection one by one. I start with selecting a screw and choose to insert the front view. On the right, the wizard tells me which dimensions are available. Watch how the options narrow down while I pick the parts. I next select the through hole for the first section, and I go on with adding another hole of the same type for the second section. Finally, I choose a nut. When I select the diameter of the screw, I go for an M8 thread, the dimensions of the holes and the nut adapt accordingly. Now I'm ready to insert the screw connection in the drawing. I mark the length of the two holes, then AutoCAD Mechanical calculates the length of the bolt and draws the screw connection. Now let me show you something very handy. Let's say I want to delete the screw connection. I click the Erase button on the Home tab and select the screw connection. Note how the surroundings heal automatically. Now take a look at the tooltip. The button doesn't call an AutoCAD command. It calls the AM Power Erase command instead, which is special to AutoCAD Mechanical. This command knows about mechanical objects in the drawing and cleans up the surroundings when you erase one. Next I'll generate the top view of this screw and place it here. I start the AM Power View command from the ribbon. I select the screw, specify what view to generate, and then I place it. I copy the view to the other places I've marked using the AM Power Copy command. The result will look like this. 
So far we entered all the special libraries by clicking on shortcuts. To browse through all available libraries in one panel, click the Content Libraries button. By expanding the tree, you can navigate to the part in view you want to insert. You can also create your own content or use your company's parts library. Simply add it to the custom content section. For more information about that, check out the AutoCAD Mechanical Help.